the British royal family is no stranger to internal disagreements, and their upcoming stay at Balmoral Castle seems set to continue this trend. As they gather for their annual visit to Scotland, a critical discussion looms over the future of the monarchy. At the centre of this debate is Prince William's bold reorganisation strategy, which has sparked significant controversy, particularly among Queen Camilla, Prince Harry and Prince Andrew. This year's Balmoral Summit will not only focus on the royal family's customary rest and leisure but also serve as a platform for a crucial conversation about the monarchy's future direction. Prince William's plans aim to address financial and operational restructuring within the royal household, but these proposals have been met with resistance from Queen Camilla. One of the main components of Prince William's strategy is to streamline the royal payroll, reducing what he deems unnecessary positions. This move would notably impact members of Queen Camilla's immediate family, including her son, daughters, and sister, as well as Prince Harry and Prince Andrew. The potential elimination of these roles has caused friction, particularly with Queen Camilla, who views the cuts as a direct challenge to her family's involvement within the monarchy. Despite this opposition, William's proposals have garnered support from senior royals like Princess Anne, who firmly backs the financial restructuring. King Charles himself, after much contemplation, appears to be leaning toward agreeing with his son, further adding to the tension. Another aspect of Prince William's vision for the monarchy's future involves expanding the number of young royals actively participating in public duties. This redistribution of roles would transfer responsibilities currently held by Queen Camilla, Prince Harry and Prince Andrew to other eligible family members, such as Prince Edward, Duchess Sophie, Princess Beatrice, Lady Louise, Mike Tyndall and Zara Tyndall. The goal is to revitalize the monarchy and keep it relevant in the modern world. To ensure the younger royals are prepared for their roles, William's strategy emphasizes the importance of mentorship and guidance, with figures like Princess Anne, Duchess Sophie of Edinburgh, and Princess Catherine expected to play significant roles in this initiative. Princess Catherine's return to her royal duties is particularly noteworthy, especially after her six-month battle with cancer. As she prepares to resume her public responsibilities, her involvement in mentoring the younger generation will be a key part of William's broader strategy. This move highlights the royal family's dedication to ensuring that younger members are well equipped to handle the duties that lie ahead. By focusing on education and skill building, William aims to safeguard the monarchy's future and ensure its continued relevance in an ever-evolving world. However, these proposed changes come with significant challenges, particularly for Queen Camilla. As Prince William's strategy progresses, Camilla's responsibilities within the royal household are expected to diminish. This shift is likely to extend beyond mere financial restructuring and affect her overall role in the monarchy. The potential exclusion of her family members from royal duties has been difficult for her to accept, and the fact that Princess Anne supports William's plan only deepens her sense of betrayal. Camilla perceives these reforms as a direct affront to her family and her position within the monarchy. Princess Anne's support for William's proposal has been steadfast, further exacerbating the tension between her and Queen Camilla. Anne has long advocated for a more streamlined monarchy, believing that the institution must modernize to survive. Her endorsement of William's vision is rooted in practical concerns, including the health of King Charles, who is reportedly in a fragile state following cancer treatment. Anne's pragmatic approach to royal responsibilities, coupled with her unwavering dedication to the monarchy, has made her a key ally for William in this ongoing conflict. As the Balmoral summit approaches, the internal conflict within the royal family shows no signs of easing. Queen Camilla continues to voice her dissatisfaction with Prince William's reorganization plan, viewing it as a threat to the royal household's cohesion and a dismissal of the contributions made by older members, including herself. Meanwhile, King Charles finds himself caught in the middle, torn between supporting his wife and endorsing his son's vision for the monarchy's future. Public and expert opinions are divided on William's ambitious proposal, with many viewing it as a necessary step toward modernizing the monarchy. 
the outcome of this summit will undoubtedly shape the direction of the British royal family for years to come.